Tonight, a Phoenix family is thankful to be alive after coming face to face with an armed intruder. Yeah, Phoenix police confronting the suspect with deadly consequences. Investigators say the man pointed a gun at the family near 7th Street and Northern, so officers opened fire, killing him. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us live from the Alert Center with what was a terrifying tale. Nicole? Yeah, guys, hearing them tell the story makes the hairs on the back of your neck just stand up. This family of eight sleeping when their dog starts barking. Mom going to check on him, but instead she comes face to face with an armed man. The most frantic, loud, screeching scream of like such panic. The mom's daughter can still hear the moment her mom found an intruder in their home. My mom was like hysterical. Mom getting up to see why the family dog was barking. As she turned on this light, she turned around. She made like a half turn. She turned around. That's when she noticed that he was crouched up in our couch lane right here. And he told her to be quiet because she screamed really loud. Police now say that man is Michael Joe Jaws. Detectives think he hid out in the family's home for an hour after an officer approached him. As he got up, he had his gun with him, so he was chasing after her. Mom claims Jaws chased her back into her bedroom. She tried closing the door as best as she can. Um, he was like trying, like the door was like about this crack and she was trying to push in the door, but my dad slammed the door so the door closed. The family saying that's when Jaws took the car keys and drove away. Like he just took off really hard. It was just scary. Several hours later, detectives spot him miles away in this neighborhood near 7th Street in Northern. They saw a firearm in one of his hands. The suspect pointed the handgun at an officer. Multiple officers fired their weapon, striking the suspect. The shot killing Jaws. We've been talking about it nonstop today, honestly, just playing how it could have went. Now, this family is thankful Things didn't end up worse than they did. Since he was armed with a gun, he could have entered all any of our bedrooms. And scarier, the family's youngest sister even made eye contact with Dolls. She was able to close her door before he could walk into her room. We're live in the Alert Center. Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10.